Yeah, Ben Ready. You know what? I don't know how I feel about this outfit, man. What do you think? Is it the shirt? You know what? But let's start over. Uh, let me help you get dressed. Yeah. Let's go. How are all my plump and non-plump children doing? My name is Levi Peters, and this is Demetrius Levi. Now, if you're like me, you're plump, or more specifically, you're skinny fat. If you don't know what skinny fat is, that's when you're pretty much skinny, or at least you look skinny, but you got quite a bit of fat going on there, especially in, you know, the stomach region, okay? Yes. And so, that's who I'm here to help today. I'm going to help the guys with the dad bods. Now, before anyone posts that obnoxious comment like, just lose weight, simple idiot. Idiot. Right, fair enough, but that takes some time. I mean, I'm doing that right now. I've been doing intermittent fasting, daily walks, going to the gym, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. But then you can't just do it overnight, you know? It takes some time. So I'm not saying to dress like this to use as a crutch, but more as a temporary fix while we get in the shape because that is the most important. I cannot stress how critical it is to be healthy. And with that being said, here are five ways you can dress to appear slimmer. Tip number one is wearing dark colors. Dark colors, especially black, just make you look thinner. One of the reasons being is that you can't see all the folds in the fabric. So if it's pouring horizontally, you can't see it. It's too dark. If you're like me and you got some nipple poking action, then it's especially good because you can't see those. I say this is best for a t-shirt. Cause, dude, I'll be honest, I got man boobs. <laughs> look, the kids got bosoms. And my pink targets are even worse. My nipples are very sensitive. So I rarely, if at all, wear a t-shirt on its own. But if I do, it's black. Does it come in black? Tip number two is having more room in the stomach region. Now the best fit, of course, is a tailored fit. One that is tailored to your body. But specifically for skinny fat dudes, you don't want it too slim around your man handles because then people will really start to see how much meat you're stuffing into that shirt. And this is especially important for dress shirts or just button down shirts in general because let me tell you, there's nothing worse than when you sit down and it's pulling so much that your skin's showing, the buttons are about to burst, and your stomach hair, your belly hair, is poking out of those spaces like the emergent trees in the rainforest. And I know this all too well. All too well. When it comes to casual shirts like t-shirts, polos, and sweaters, I tend to stretch a little bit of them horizontally so there's a little bit more room in the stomach region, but I leave the chest and the arms alone because I like them a little bit more snug. And I think this look looks best on any body shape, even fit guys. Too tight all around if your fit just looks douchey. But if your muffin top is really, really big, then you want a little bit more room in the shoulders and the chest because then you might end up looking like me. A bowling pin or a pair. Shout out to all the pair. Tip number three is wearing high-waisted pants. You suck! Now, you probably don't want to look like grandpa and have your pants two to three inches above your belly button, but if you're tucking in your shirt, you do want to cover as much of your muffins as possible. Girls do this all the time to make themselves look thinner because it works. And it works on men just as well. Probably why grandpa does it. Plus, dress pants or any pants that are tucked into your shirt look terrible when they're low rise. So even if you're thin, you should be doing this. Just do it! And guys, if you're enjoying this video, please press that like button for me. That would be fantastic. And subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you'll actually be notified the next time I drop a new video like this. Because I'm sure you'll like it. Anyway, now tip number four is something I've never heard suggested ever before. But it is the best way i found to appear thinner. And that is wearing floral. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Now, as I said in my video on how to look taller... Vertical stripes help you appear taller, so you think they'd help you appear thinner, right? <laughs> Wrong! It'll make you look taller, yes, but definitely not slimmer, and this is because stripes make it even more apparent that you actually have muffins underneath your shirt because those vertical stripes start to bend and warp wherever the fabric is pulling. 
So if you have a really well developed chest or upper torso, then they bend outward and then they become straighter. So it pretty much exaggerates wherever the fabric pulls. So it looks even better and makes you look more strong when you're in shape and it makes you look even more out of shape when you are. But a floral print is asymmetrical and has no geometric pattern. So any pulling or places where lines would be exaggerated are otherwise now lost. I noticed this whenever I wore my Grand Frank floral shirt or this shirt, I just looked a lot thinner and flatter and it almost appeared as if, you know, I cut out the shape of my torso and placed a flat image over it. But that was because there is no geometric consistent pattern that at least your eye catches. So you don't see all the small details in the fabric and where it pulls, where it bunches and where it doesn't. Definitely the best way to slim up in my opinion. Tip number pende is wearing jackets. This could be suit jackets, sports coats, blazers, denim jackets, safari jackets, jackets. They emphasize the shoulders and the chest, especially suits, blazers, and sports coats. They slim up the waist a bit, but keep your chest looking nice and wide. So it gives you a slight hourglass shape, but not too, too much, because then you'll just look like a Barbie. <laughs> you can also do this with other jackets by unbuttoning the top and bottom buttons or utilizing the dual zippers if you have them. And a bonus tip for you guys is to make sure your posture is perfect. This is good advice for anybody, but if you're any way out of shape, this will make a huge difference. That is a huge problem. You just put the shoulders back, the chest up, and your chin up, and you will be looking 10 times better than before. Plus, it helps with your joints and your neck. We're not meant to be looking down constantly, but that's what happens when we're all consumed by our smartphones because we've been taking so many selfies and, you know, posting what we call our beautiful faces on Instagram. Feeling cute? Might delete it later. <laughs> you miserable, mediocre nothing! If you found this video useful, or even if you didn't, at least if you found it entertaining, please just press that like button for me. That would be fantastic. And subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit that bell notification icon so that you'll be notified the next time I drop a new video. And please share this on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email. Email. Whichever one you fancy, because I know there's a lot of dudes out there who have this problem like I do, and I've also never heard of the floral idea before, so let's let the world know about the power of the flower. But before I leave, I want to know in the comment section down below, let me know which one of these tips did you find the most interesting, and is there anything on this list that you would add that I haven't already, because your input is very, very important, because... As you may or may not know, this is the group thing, and we are in this together. All right, folks, I will see you all next week. Farewell. Farewell. Oh, my gosh, you did not know how frustrating this was to do. I did this last night, and I woke up this morning, realized I didn't have this microphone on. It was the crappy audio, and then I just did it, and I didn't even know my microphone just died on me in the middle of filming didn't even know no warning nothing and then we ran out of batteries so i had to go and get batteries needless to say this was rough give me a better ball <laughs> don't make me an un my nipples are very sensitive